King Charles is allowing Caribbean artists to live at the monarch's Scottish home. The king is launching an artist-in-residence program for African, Caribbean, and diaspora artists at Dumfries House. Charles's charity, the King's Foundation, has joined forces with England rugby player Maro Itoje to give up-and-coming artists a chance to reside and work on the Scottish estate for three months. Itoje co-founded the Akoji Residency to give opportunities to artists from Commonwealth countries. The collaboration will offer up to eight funded residencies a year, designed to afford opportunities for African, Caribbean, and diaspora artists to develop and extend their usual practice. The artists will be invited to share their views through talks, open studios, and exhibitions. Itoya said, We believe art has the amazing ability to bring communities together. Our residency is a haven for emerging and established and emerging artists alike. He continued, They will benefit from being surrounded by the enriching ecosystem that Dumfries House provides, as well as being a contributor to the growth of African art worldwide. King Charles and his charity bought Dumfries House in Ayrshire in 2007. The 18th century home is open to the public all year round and is used for education and training programs. The then Prince Charles bought the house for pound 45 million in an attempt to restore the residency for the nation. According to the property's website, the move saved the house and one of the most important collections of Georgian and English furniture for the nation. Charles has homes spread across Scotland, including Balmoral Castle, Burke Hall, and the Palace of Holyrood House. In June 2022, Itoi met the King at a Buckingham Palace reception, which celebrated the contribution of people of the Commonwealth in the UK. He said during the meeting, I think representation is always so important. There is that old phrase that, you can't be it if you can't see it. If you see someone doing something, that acts as an inspiration and can help them strive to achieve. The first person to benefit from the program will be Nigerian-born Oliver Nwanwu, who is studying for a PhD in African art history at the University of Benin. He uses his work to celebrate the achievements of African people. Simon Sadinsky, executive of the King's Foundation said, the residencies, each lasting for three months, will give international artists the opportunity to gain inspiration from our beautiful Dumfries House headquarters, while also benefiting from access to the King's Foundation's wide range of specialist workshops, expertise, and skilled craftspeople.